Three years ago, North Carolina was bracing for the impact from Hurricane Florence. Tonight, CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunzing walks us through the journey of this powerful hurricane and the impacts we all felt in its wake. Florence began like so many long track hurricanes as a wave off Africa in late August. Florence strengthened into a hurricane September 3rd and became a category four for the first time just two days later. Fortunately, Florence would weaken significantly before making landfall near Wrightsville Beach just after 7:15 in the morning, September 14th, three years ago tomorrow. Even though Florence weakened before landfall, it had slowed way down, only moving six miles per hour. It took Florence 24 hours to move just under 100 miles from North Carolina into South Carolina. And the entire way, it dumped heavy rain and caused major flooding from our coast to here in central North Carolina. Communities like Dunn, Mount Olive, Fayetteville, and Goldsboro picked up 15 to 25 inches of rain, with communities in the Triangle dealing with 5 to 10 inches. This led to roads looking like rivers and even stranding people for days. Hurricane Florence would be the last hurricane to make landfall in North Carolina until Isaias just last year. Right now, we're at the peak of hurricane season with more storms inevitably going to develop. And with some parts of our state still cleaning up from this year's F name storm, Fred, all we can do is make sure our plan is in place should another storm head our way. Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.